Hello and welcome back to the Outdoor Cooking Man channel. In this video, we are going to cook a big Sunday breakfast. Now, uh, my wife and kids, or what I like to do on Sundays is to cook a huge breakfast uh, for me, my wife, my uh, three kids, twin seven-year-olds, and a four-year-old. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to cook a big breakfast. And I'm just going to narrate, talk about what's happening throughout this process. So on the far left, we have, I think, a 30-pack of sausage, which will get consumed really quickly. Um, I actually like them frozen because I think they cook better. In the middle there, we've got some O'Brien potatoes, and I just put down some Lowry's uh, seasoning salt. Now, one thing that you want to make sure that you do when you're cooking potatoes, because for whatever reason, they take a long time to cook, at least in my experience, make sure that all of the potatoes, each individual cube is actually touching the griddle. Now, one thing that I've learned is that the back of my griddle, uh, which is on the right of the screen, tends to get much hotter than the front. And so you see me kind of moving it around and playing with it, trying to get them towards the back. Um, also, my wife likes the potatoes to be cooked uh, crispy. So you're going to see that they're a little bit crispy here. Uh, that's the the preferred way. And the great thing with this time lapse, because this is a time lapse, normally it takes about uh, this this cook probably took maybe 40 to 45 minutes, and we do a bunch of different things here. We've got the sausages and the potatoes, as I mentioned, they take the longest to cook. We'll also be cooking pancakes, we'll be cooking vegetables, we'll be cooking eggs, and maybe something else I don't remember. But um, you can see this is how, this is a, a pretty standard Sunday here at the, the residence where I will cook a big meal. The kids will uh, spend the entire rest of the day eating it. And um, one, one thing that you'll notice too is that our kids like different, or at least I notice, is that our kids like different stages of our cooked sausage. So some of them like them fried and crispy to almost to the point of burnt. Um, others like it, you know, gently warmed up um, just after dead, just past dead. So you're going to see here, if you look at the top here though, with the sausage, there are different stages. I did that on purpose so that uh, all of the the kids who have different preferences. And if you have kids, you know that preferences change every 15 to 20 minutes. So what they like now at the beginning of this cook might be completely different what they like at the end of the cook. And you got to account for that or else you are going to have meltdowns and temper tantrums on a Sunday morning. So uh, this is in Wisconsin. It was actually unseasonably warm in Wisconsin. This is what we call our third summer where it gets to about 70 degrees for a week, and then it's going to be miserably rainy and cold. Today, it's miserably rainy and cold. So we are entering into our second fall, and just after second fall, we'll be experiencing our first winter. Um, <laughs> that is the weather report from the Outdoor Cooking Man. Back to you. <laughs> uh, anyway, you can see here the, um, the the food's just cooking. I like to I like to stay on top of the, the potatoes. Um, I like to keep moving them, make sure everything's evenly cooked. I've got two spatchers there. This is a Blackstone four burner griddle. Um, I picked it up at, I picked it up at, at Lowe's uh, earlier in the spring, first spring I should say. But uh, you can see I kind of just move things around to try and make sure that it's cooking evenly and, and crispy. Uh, eventually I'll move the, the vegetables to where the, sausage greases to get a nice little additional flavor there, but things are working great. One thing that I did not mention in my earlier cook is that when I put down my potatoes and when I put down my, my vegetables, I like to put additional olive oil. Now I begin, I cook 90% of my meals with olive oil, um, just because it's a personal preference. And one thing you should be aware of is the oils cook at different temperatures. So they, they rise to different temperatures. I should say olive oil is probably the um, lowest temperature. Now, I should mention that I'm not a professional cook. Some of the things that you see here will probably be frowned upon by professional cooks, but uh, this is just my experience as a guy cooking in the old outdoors. Now, if you want the recipes to all of my cooking videos, simply check out the first link in the description. Also, I have some tips to help you get up and running to be a successful griddle cooker. So you can see here, I kind of just like to stay on top of my potatoes and play with them a little bit. Um, I try and keep them from the back middle because that's where the, the grease goes, grease trap. And we can see I just tasted one. They are pretty well on their way. 
Now, what you see here, I just pulled everything off and now you can see I've got a stick of unsalted butter because we are going to cook some pancakes. Yes, my favorite food, believe it or not, is actually pancakes. Weird comment, but but that's what you get on the Outdoor Cooking Man channel. You get, get a, bit, a little bit of weirdness. Uh, I took an entire stick of butter, put it on there. Um, I actually turned the heat all the way up to help that um, melt faster and then I turned it all the way down to cook pancakes. And this is just one of those, like Mrs. Buttersworth, add water to the mix and away you go. These aren't any, you know, specially made pancakes. It's just standard for what we do here because time is of the essence. If you are not moving fast, uh, the the kids will will protest and there will be... Uh, There'll be riots in the streets. Anyway, uh, you can see here the pancakes actually cook really quickly. And um, I personally like the crispy edges. I to give it a little crunch. And um, again, one thing that I notice is the top or the back of my, my griddle, that one right there, will cook the fastest. And I really like that crunchy, um, crunchy edge that, that creates a crunchy ring. But you can see here, um, these only will take maybe... A minute and a half to two minutes on each side at most and then they're up and running and then after we get the pancakes going we've got uh so we'll put some eggs down now i actually saw this weird thing on tiktok that if you drop the egg directly on its side it will crack perfectly and it doesn't leave any shells in this video i decided to test it so you'll see my results um there because i actually will will leave a lot of shells in the eggs on accident and you can see here uh these are actually really close to being ready already and it's just playing around a little bit. Got a little taste test. It's hot. Uh, pro tip, never eat food directly off the grill because it is going to be hot. But, you know, chef's got a chef's got a chef. Anyway, you can see here we are just winding down with this cook. The pancakes are ready. I'm about to pull them off right now. You can see there um, they are good to go. Get the kids eating uh, the sausage and the pancakes, which they will be done eating by the time I'm done cooking and cleaning everything up. So now that we have that, um, I should put down either uh, oil once again, or maybe even more butter, so that uh, the eggs, which is the final step, the final step of this big Sunday cook, will, um, will, will be wrapped up, you can see here. All right, so I went and actually grabbed some more butter. I couldn't remember which one I did in this instance and once again we're going to spread it all around and cook eggs now uh, my wife likes eggs different than i do and so i just try and make sure that i accommodate all parties because a good short order cook will be accommodating if not anything else as you can see here i tested that TikTok thing there um splatter's weird i don't know if i would try it again but you can see here i just dropped them on there from maybe two feet above um, I think I did five or six eggs total. Um, I actually switched up methods, as you can see there. Went with old school. And the only thing with old school is you, your hands get dirty and then you got to wash them. But uh, you can see there, uh, two, four, we did six eggs. And these actually cook really quickly once again. And the eggs turned out good. Once again, like I've mentioned a few different times, the um, back will, will cook much quicker than the front. And it's not like the, 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 the black zone is on some sort of um, pitch or something like that. I think it's just how it's, it's set up. But you can see here, it uh, looks good on both sides. I didn't add any salt or pepper or anything like that. And this actually, this, this completed meal turned out to be really good. So we cooked sausage at the beginning. Then we followed that up with potatoes. Those are O'Brien cubed potatoes that have a little bit of vegetables in them. We added some vegetables. I actually get those from directly from the grocery store. Then we uh, threw down some pancakes, and then we cleaned everything up or finished everything up with um, with eggs. That that was my my wife's egg to make sure that it was cooked the way she wanted to be cooked. And then I will eat the other six eggs. I actually wound up with seven eggs. I didn't realize that. Um, I think my son had one, which she really liked. The seven year old, he really enjoyed it. But yeah, these. These meals are awesome because they're relatively quick and there's a lot less mess to clean up. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I sincerely appreciate it. Be sure to like, comment, follow, subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the latest content. You guys have a great day and we will see you tomorrow.